They are so dangerous. Crosby with it. Lines up and fires. Score. It hit Malkin in front. He goes down in pain, but it's a 3-1 Pittsburgh lead. They're just a great example of how the Penguins, when they get full control and they feel that they're in a shooting position, and they've done it over these last seven games, and Crosby just backs up, and he's going to fire that puck. Okay. You give it to Crosby. The Panthers were back really covering it out in front of the net, and that allowed Crosby to fire that puck and goes right off of Malkin. There's the slap shot. He was going wide and just hits Malkin. He sacrifices the body and he is shaken up. Looks like it it caught him just above the shin pad and below the, the pants. I mean, here's another look at it right. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Well, you don't see it very often. They've got to help him off the ice after the goal is his. And Malkin has come up big, set up the go-ahead goal, and then scores this one. So the big guys for the Penguins, Gensel, Malkin, Crosby, Latang, all on the score sheet. And it's a 3-1 deficit as Gino Malkin, hopefully okay, gingerly leaves the ice. And that's been one of the one of the reasons why the Penguins have been one of the hottest teams since December 1st is they've stayed away from injuries. They're the fourth least team in the NHL lost games to injury and uh, but Malkin is shaken up here but he does get credit with the power play goal and his buddy Crosby with the assist. 